very precise. Would this take more than a quarter of an hour? He, he got 10 minutes, so I pause the record until I start talking. Uh, uh, I think he starts. Well, he got 10 minutes, so I think he should stop him. <laughs> Future, gonna have more files and tools. 
Um, we're going to try and set up a distributed um, web server um, mirror net. We've already, we've already got a few mirrors around the place. Um, but uh, we want to try and set up a distributed web server because sooner or later somebody's going to try a, 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 you know, a distributed denial of service attack and, and, and try and shut us down uh, either that way or we're going to run into legal hassle and, and somebody's going to try and shut us down again. So a distributed web, um, web server, we have a couple of designs on the board, you know, nothing, nothing concrete yet, but hopefully a distributed web server will be better able to deal with um, you know, the possibility of you know, um, attack by legal methods, i.e. You know, having our providers shut down in various different places, or alternatively, you know, attack by things like you know, distributed denial of service attacks. Um, as, um, I, uh, who was here for the distributed denial of service thing? Yeah. Um, one of the things about a distributed web server is that um, if it's possible to actually design and set them up such that um, the aggregate, so you can lessen the aggregation problem, um, the, the, the traffic aggregation problem that was actually mentioned at the Supreme Denial of Service Attack um, talk. Um, you know, I mean, if anyone's interested, you know, find me outside in the bar and we'll manage it for a bit. Anyway, more and better features, and uh, we're trying to get one of the things that's been talked about, and one of the things that I'd like to get people's opinions on. Uh, we were thinking of trying to add um, a quality assurance program. Um, to the archive. One of the things about all of these, um, one of the things about the tools and the software um, that is available um, for you know, what is most of these freeware you know, security things is that, as uh, Matt pointed out, um, generally they're written incredibly poorly. <laughs> they, sorry. Yeah, 70, I mean, 75% of the time, you know, you try, you know, you, you know, you try and compile it, you type make, you know, it, it spits out, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, and you, know, you get a bazillion errors, and you, and you spend the next like three days trying to fix the bloody thing. So, you know, and and, and really, um, people who try and use these things, especially for for anything useful, um, you know, if you're a professional, or uh, even if you're just a sort of, you know, a, a, a user who doesn't have to be terribly good at coding. It's not really terribly fair to expect everyone out there to be able to go out there and fix their own code. I mean, some, some people might disagree, but you know, that's, that I think is a, is a sensible way to look at it. I mean, I think that, uh, that you know, good code is, is, is one of those things that should be, is, that should be widespread. And it's, no, it's a bit pointless, really, you know, if, if, uh, all your security, if your security software it, um, you know, doesn't compile, because quite simply nobody will use it. You know, and the world is a much worse place for it. Um, eventually, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll probably end up, you know, moving to a PHP network and all the rest of this stuff. Depending on how badly it all goes in the back, I'll talk about that in just a second. There's something that you guys all have to do. Um, problems. Um, yeah, um, storm. Problems. Yeah, um, probably in some jurisdictions we're going to end up being illegal. And uh, there's a general drive away from full disclosure. I don't know, how many people here follow things like Bug Track? Quick show of hands. Who subscribed to Bug Track or any of those other lists, like Vulnerability Dev or whatever? Yeah, okay, good. Then all of you guys know that there's a, that there's a trend away from full disclosure. Um, you know, people will release things like advisories, but not necessarily the, the, you know, the, the means by which they arrived at their, their conclusions. They won't release their methodologies, they won't release their analysis. They won't release their exploit code, you know, and we see a lot of that. Um, we actually stand di diametrically opposed to that. We'll, we'll keep, if you send it to us, we'll keep anything, we'll, we'll post just about anything. Analysis, um, we'd like to hear your methodologies, we'd like to see your methods, I mean, your exploit code, the whole works. You know, we want to see it all. And um, we think that, that sharing that is, is a positive thing, simply because it gives other people insight into the way that, that other people think. No, it's one of those. It's one of those. You know, trying to lock up um, a, a, a development methodology or, or thought process is, in a collaborative process, you know, as the internet is, you know, is is it's not just stupid but counterproductive. And you know, I see Matt there nodding, nodding his head lots. You know, so you know, share and share and share alike. If you come up with some wicked methodology or some zero day wares or whatever. Don't just distribute it amongst your little, you know, cracker buddies who are going to go out there and face, you know, I don't know, Zangzi's website or whatever, you know. 
put it out there, put the analysis out, you know, let the vendors know, and then post it. Right? Don't keep it to yourself. It, 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 it doesn't help anybody. You know, it, it, it doesn't prove that you're any bigger or smaller than anybody else. Um, yeah, future needs is probably going to drive us to peer-to-peer -peer technologies, and I'm just going to say something very briefly about uh, the conventional cybercrime, which is a dreadful idea. Yeah, um, the cybercrime convention, Council of Europe initiative originally. Um, unfortunately, just about every government on earth seems to want to sign up to this thing for some idiotic reason, um, for reasons that we, we, we really don't understand, or I don't understand anyway. Um, for starters, it will render packets from totally illegal. Uh, forget it, I'm going to jail. You know, if, 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 this, thing go, if this thing goes through, we're, we're probably going to have to pull the plug and go to the kingdom of the ground, and I'll probably wind up, you know, in the slammer. Ceasing prison. You know. I mean, anyone here, anyone here who's seen a program called Oz will know that, that prison sucks. Okay, so no good. Um, Packets. What we do, the full our full disclosure ethos uh, means that we contravene just about every article um, in the cybercrime convention. Trafficking and hacking tools will be illegal. Password cracking tools will be illegal. Copyright evasion tools will be illegal. Yeah. Okay. I mean, talk to wind it up. Sorry, guys. Uh, um, you know, yeah. So anyway, if you want, anyway, if you want to find out more about just how dreadful this is, um, you know, you can have a look at conventions of coe. Uh, int, which is the Council on Europe, and also the Chaos Computer Club um, are having a working session tomorrow, um, where they will try and come up with some strategies to actually count, to, to actually um, 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 counter and lobby people to, um, you know, you know, basically get this thing repealed. I strongly recommend that when they announce, when they go to do it, that people go. Um, because it's going to basically put all of us here. It's going to criminalize all of us. Right? Don't, you know, don't let it go through. Be active. Don't be passive. Don't be sheep. This isn't television. This isn't television. Go out there, lobby your politicians, you know, and, and fight hard for your rights. You know, because that's what they're doing. They're taking your rights away from you. Um, yeah, you know, we like you to become research associates, you know, go out there, find new stuff, research new stuff, send it to us, post it. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that's the thanks. Anyway, okay guys, I'm going to kick off. <laughs>